Let's move on then. I want to talk injury news and, and obviously one of the things of, from the Luton game was perhaps, I don't know if it was a surprise, but the Curtis Jones missed the game with an injury and we've spoken about this a couple of times now, but I think it's worth mentioning again mm. in, in light of this is that he's, Curtis Jones has picked up this really bad habit and it's not his fault, don't be wrong, of like, he's always injured at the wrong time or he, he's out, he just misses games from nowhere kind of thing and Obviously, he couldn't help the suspension. The suspension was what it was. Yeah. But it does feel like whether it's unlucky time and for unlucky time for Liverpool. But I definitely felt like they missed him against Luton. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and it again, I'm not saying injury prone. He's a young player. There were certain issues that he had with what were related to his growing and, and, and things like that. He obviously had a weird eye injury. It just feels like, like he always gets the hard lines at really in Liverpool. Yeah. Definitely missed them at the weekend. I think so. I think they did. Um just his ability to be clean and 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 keep the ball, you know, better than the majority did. And you know, I think Liverpool kept it well at the back and then struggled to keep it in the in the forward areas or in the advanced areas, didn't he? You know, probably too many of them had off days. I think Gravenberg was probably the only one that you'd look at and say, well, do you know what? He was quite quite sharp, you know, in when when he had the ball. I think the others, I mean, Nunes looked sharp. Obviously, didn't didn't have the end the end product. Um, yeah, you're right. Okay, unlucky, I suppose, would be the, the way you'd describe it. You know, obviously, a three game ban when he was playing particularly well um, and had the place in the team, didn't he? Sort of not nailed down, but he was definitely in, in possession of the shirt. I don't think it's a serious injury. I think it was obviously like a knock that he picked up in the Bournemouth game um, when he thought he played really well again. Um, so, with McAllister being out on Sunday, I would wonder whether you'd wouldn't risk him against Toulouse and sort of have him, you know, give him the time to get ready for Sunday. That might be the, the way that Liverpool go about it. We'll see. They'll train tomorrow, obviously. There's an open training session early or sort of lunchtime tomorrow. Um, but fingers crossed he can play Brentford or be available for Brentford on Sunday. But you're right, he, he's one of them that we've seen what happens when he can get a, a bit of momentum behind him. It's just that he hasn't been able to get a bit of momentum behind him often enough in a Liverpool shirt and fingers crossed this isn't another period where you know you're talking about three games missed and then an international break and all of a sudden you're sort of out of rhythm again or having to you know come on for 15 minutes in a, in a league games and maybe not show your best or whatever um, you know I think there's yeah he's a, he's a he is an important player for Liverpool if, he, if he's fifth I think he's already shown that this season I think I, I don't think it was a, a, a coincidence that Jürgen spoke about counter pressing being at 0.0% in the first half against Luton and I don't think that would have been the case had Curtis been on the pitch um, and I don't think it was um, or I think that tells you he was missed certainly in the squad but maybe even in the starting 11 and like I say the, the, the... A couple of injuries. Obviously, I remember he had he had an ankle injury at the start of this year as well. He missed the Bournemouth game. He missed the Newcastle game, and then he was back in. He had he played three really good games. Liverpool, I think Liverpool's three most convincing perhaps performances. I know they went behind against Wolves and West Ham was a bit tricky at times, but they battered Villa in the end. They were comfortable against Wolves, relatively speaking. Um, in terms of the the, the performance, and whether the result was in doubt, I don't know. Obviously, I took Andy Robertson scoring quite late to, to win that one. West Ham, I thought he played well again. Yeah. They're probably three of the better performances that Liverpool have had, and, he's, and they're the three games, they're the three league games he started. Like yeah. that probably isn't a coincidence. Well, and also look at the games he he hasn't featured in this season. Um, you know, he didn't didn't feature against Brighton. Suspended. Yeah. Tottenham obviously went off in the game, uh, and and Luton. You know, being 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 them. So even Chelsea top. in the home game, he come off the bench. Yeah, he came off the one. bench. Yeah, uh, so you know, yeah, I'm not saying it's all down to him, but Liverpool have dropped points. So they, I think he definitely he definitely would have come in handy in some of those games. Um, you think of Brighton being a good example, actually. You know, if you think about the way the game was, Brighton sort of really intense, and you needing a little bit of a calm head and just keep the ball, and obviously being able to do all the off the ball work I think he would have been more than useful um, I think he'd started that Spurs game really well you know Liverpool had generally so yeah he's he's one of them that Liverpool are going to be relying on this season and he, for that obviously they need him to be fit and available and you know fingers crossed if it's not to lose you know it's Brentford I was going to say because if, if, if it's not Brentford and we, we'll find out in, in due course of course That'll have mean he'll have, he won't have played the Premier League game since that Tottenham game. Yeah. That was like late September. Yeah. Obviously, he missed the four, he missed the three with the suspension. Then he missed Luton, and then he missed Brentford, and then there's another international. And break. Then he got City after the break. You could be as talking. Well. You could be. It could almost be two months yeah, without yeah. the Premier League game. Now, obviously, he has featured 
in, in a, a, a bit of Europe and a bit of cup games but like two months out of Premier League footy to then go where's Man City at home like it, it's not ideal for him no no it's not no um, for him you know I'm I, listen we're talking about Liverpool's perspective right? from his point of view he must have been absolutely chewing when he's yeah. been sent off at Spurs there he's got a th- for what it was as well and I don't understand the rules and you know you, okay. there's been some similar though mate that haven't been red cards yeah. recently and Destiny a doggy maybe um, even on, even with uh, Kai Avert wasn't too it was a similar yeah. kind of thing maybe yeah, yeah um, but yeah you know to, to get it to, to miss like you say the best part of two months of football because of because of something like that he will have been absolutely spewing with, with it um, but fingers crossed you know it's just a a one game, a one game absence, you know, a little, a little knock that he, he can overcome and, and get back into it because you know he's he's got a part to play for Liverpool in all competitions this season. Yeah, I was going to say looking ahead to that game again. It's who knows if he's even fit. But you mentioned McAllister's suspension. Uh, the the obvious thing is to play Endo at, at number six. But like yeah. Jürgen's been resting. He has tried Curtis in that role before. Like it, it could be a world where he he starts the could, game as a number six. The could. Um, I, I I wonder whether Brentford. The type of opposition might dictate an endo okay. who's a bit, you know, good in the air and a, a more physical um, or physically. What's the word? He's 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 more comfortable in the, in in the defensive midfield yeah. aspect of the game. I know Kurt is, is is good off the ball, but yeah, it's big it's big chance for Endo, isn't it? You know, McAllister. Got, there was a lot of discussion about McAllister and, and and the number six role. I don't think that was the reason Liverpool didn't beat Luton because they didn't have a defensive midfielder or a defensive minded midfielder I don't, I don't feel like it was the problem there the problem was the quality on in possession from not just him but from others um, so it would be a big chance for Endo to come into the Premier League tough game Klopp's got a lot of respect for Brentford they're a very specific way of playing uh, they've always given Liverpool relatively tough games certainly down there but even even at Anfield I think it was 1-0 last season late in the, in the day uh, late in the campaign so it's not a team that you're going to sort of go and expect to just run through. You're going to have to work hard for it. And if Endo, Endo is the man who gets the, the chance, then it'll be a, um, a good chance for him to, to stake a bit of a claim as well. Yeah, we'll see how that one uh, pans out again. The Toulouse game might give you a little hint about that on Thursday as yeah. well. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that clip from Jerno Inside. Go and check out the whole show right now over on redmenplus.com. Use the code Jerno, J O U R N O, when you sign up as a monthly captain and you'll get your first two months for half price. So yeah, go and check it out at redmenplus.com. Hey, thank you so much for checking out the content today. If you want to get your name in and amongst these wonderful people, uh, then head to redmenplus.com. Join as a legend tier subscriber. You're going to get free merchandise, merchandise codes. You're going to get in our Discord, and you're going to get your name at the end of YouTube videos. Yes, redmenplus.com, legend tier status.